Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. What's up, folks? In this vid, I'm gonna talk about something which is very common, which is about string palindrome. Now, if you remember this word palindrome somewhere, you know that you take something, you take the reverse of that something, and both are same. Then that becomes a palindrome. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean here. I have a string A B C B A, right? It is a palindrome because if you reverse A B C B A, you're gonna get the same thing again. But if you take the string A B, you're gonna reverse that. You're gonna get B A. A B is not equals to B A, so that's not a palindrome, alright? So again, this is a very simple bit. So I'm gonna jump into NetBeans and get this plane flying directly. So here in NetBeans, I have nothing, just an empty project, alright? So first, let me make a string by saying string S one so just like i said so first what i need to do is i need to actually find the reverse of the string and then compare that the same original string and the reverse are they the same all right so first i'm gonna make a buffer out of this because i'm gonna reverse something right remember when you want to modify something you need a string buffer so first i'm gonna say string buffer or a string builder whatever string buffer b is new string buffer so at this point my buffer has a b c b a inside i'm gonna make a reverse by saying b dot reverse all right at this point it's reversed completely so i'm going to check if both of them are equal by using my dot equals method i'm going to simply say if right s1 dot equals b i'm going to simply say system dot out dot print ln it should be a palindrome right all right so if both of them are equal that this is the original string and the reverse then that means it's a palindrome otherwise it's not a palindrome remember now i use the dot equals over here if you guys are wondering why i haven't used equals equals you can see my earlier vid in my playlist where i have talked about that in detail all right so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 as you guys can see Ooh, boom no palindrome all right so here is something else i need to tell you guys if you say s1 dot equals b this is actually not gonna give you a palindrome all right the reason behind is b is a string buffer and s1 is a string you're trying to actually compare incompatible types just like comparing a float and an int all right so here first you need to change this b to a string by saying b dot to string so this is actually going to give you a string right over here and that string which will be generated intermediate will be compared with s1 and that is going to be checked so let me let me go and run this control s shift f6 over here it is a palindrome right now if you don't want to con convert over here very simple go up instead of here you can you can simply say string s2 equals to b dot to string right the same thing this is the same thing over here you can say same s1 dot equals s2 over here control s shift f6 again it's going to be the same thing now let's change this and say abc b control s shift f6 it says no palindrome right so it's working perfectly so remember that one small thing about this so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day